Hello folks, quick video review for the Black & Decker circular saw. I'm also going to explain in a moment how you can install the blade that comes in the box. So this as a cordless unit is available to pick up as a bare bones tool. That's what we did as we already have some Black & Decker batteries. However, you can also purchase it as the combi pack with a one and a half amp hour battery, I believe it is, and the battery charger as well. However, just bear in mind that a lower capacity battery such as one and a half amps is not only going to give you a shorter run time on a full charge, but it is also not going to provide the same level of power as say this four amp hour battery that we have been using. Although for most home DIY tasks, any capacity battery from Black & Decker is going to be more than sufficient and work fine. So the tool itself does feel to be very good quality. It is made of plastic, metal, and rubberized grips so it's comfortable to use and very easy to use as well and in order to install the five and a half inch blade that is included in the package first off very important make sure the battery is not connected to the tool and on the top of the tool there is a black locking button you want to push and hold this down whilst inserting that allen key into the blade mechanism and whilst keeping that button held down, you want to turn the bolt in a clockwise direction in order to loosen it. Once the bolt has been removed, you also then want to remove the chunky washer that was being held down and just put that to one side for a moment. Now, installing the actual blade is a bit of a finicky process in our experience. It does take a bit of work. The only tip I can really share with you is to make sure you're pushing it into place evenly. Don't try and put it in at an angle. Unfortunately, because it's a little bit awkward, the blade may get a little bit scuffed, but those scuffs should be purely cosmetic and not interfere with the working of the saw. And once that blade is in place, just connect the washer back up again and then secure the whole thing with the bolt. Remember this time to tighten it, you'll want to do so in an anti-clockwise direction. And make sure the blade is properly secured, but be careful not to over tighten that bolt because it may make it more difficult for you to replace the blade in the future if you do that. But back to the tool itself, and there are a number of features here, including a toolless design, for adjusting various settings, such as the angle of the cut, which can go from 45 degrees to 90 degrees. And there is also an exhaust tube here for any sawdust, which I assume it's possible to connect perhaps a vacuum to, although we haven't done that. And when using the tool, you will need to make sure that you are pushing in the safety mechanism button, as well as pulling the trigger in order to get the actual blade to rotate. So in conclusion, for small home jobs, I think the Black & Decker cordless circular saw is a fantastic product. It's certainly not intended, however, for heavy jobs or any kind of industrial use. If you try and push it too far, I would imagine that the motors would burn out. But we've been happy with it and I hope the video helps.